<laughs> I hope the ne- that's what the negotiation helmet is for. <laughs> I like this human. He understands. I'm really surprised oh my, my head isn't being torn off right now. This will be decided elsewhere. I probably deserve my neck you holes to be shat down at the moment. Reason enough for me to like you. They're your problem now. I did not expect that at all. Oh, they're gonna make my life hell through this. Ah, uh, what should we bring? Do we need any special equipment? Guns, Begin guns, right. much we bigger fucking guns, and then maybe a gun. Are required. You love battle, don't you, Shepard? The last gasp of a dying opponent. Oh, my favorite. That's my favorite kind of gasp. Trial, and he will succeed. And I am an absolute fucking purveyor of gasps. Can Uven can defeat? Is that Krogan gonna be a problem? He is forbidden to interfere, will he? During the rite of passage, you must be ready for anything, Shepard. What happens if he does? Also, you you've gone rusty. Me, Look at this man. You will not disappoint. Let's have some details. We've waited long enough. Tell us how this works. Still your impatience, Shepard. For now, know that Grunt will be tested. And that you must adapt. Begin the right. We're ready. Let's do this. <laughs> he hasn't said a fucking word since he got here. He just allowed the sniff. If that was Jacob, he'd be living in the fucking lungs right now. Those nostrils still absolutely terrify me. We're bringing Garrus. I want Gary the Vicar to be the most powerful man in the entire fucking galaxy. Plus, he kinda already is. His sniper is gonna be the most useful thing I could have possibly brought. Is this the same Captain's cutscene as before? That's definitely the same domino. You know, you can't play dominoes with just one fucking domino, right? If they're all just ones, we have to continue till the end of time. And that is the Krogan religion. Congratulations, Krogan. Nice and fucking simple, just the way I like. This is Tachanka's most recent scar. No, no need for the all the genocide imaginable. The we rebellion. only genocide because we want to. The keystone was at the heart. It has survived wars and the passage of centuries. It endures. Like the Krogan. Now his teeth are coming out of his chin. I haven't noticed that before. Does my baby have a beard already? Welcome, Aaron! Yes, we're into Chonky! You must thrive no matter the situation. Any true Krogan will. Chonkiest of all the tuz turbine parts? What am I bypassing? Like, why am I stuck? Oh, I'm so not ready! How many drugs we got? We got all the drugs, I think. Wait, do we? I think I can carry more than those. Yeah. Uh, not corpse. I'm gonna grab everything I possibly can first. Because I'm definitely not gonna be able to do it while I'm running around. I brought the nuke! The nuke is gonna be pretty damn helpful here. Oh no! Oh, I'm not fucking ready! I know how hard this was for me! On the difficulty, like, below this! Hit the keystone. No, damn it, I'm getting ready! And unfortunately, I don't- I don't seem to be able to, like, walk off the edge here. I have to use the stairs every single time. In true Krogan's fucking spirit. I'm very respect- respectful of regulations. Wouldn't want unsafety in the workplace. Hit the keystone. Can you shut the fuck up, child? Papa's busy. Papa's busy robbing your old dead clan mates. I'm trying to teach you, dude. I'm trying to teach you the ways of the world. There's another head knock. Oh, there he is. God, they were rich. Oh my god, I can't hit that any hear that anymore in my entire fucking lifetime. We're doing it. We're getting the fuck out of it. How to hear? Let's go. My tongue is not listening to me today. Oh fuck. Oh fuck! Oh fuck! Is this the trial? Is it just another game of snap? I don't know what's eating me! Please, God, guys, stop it from eating me! I'm- I- I lived. Is the game over? Is this a death screen behind this? No, I'm fine. What in fuck just happened? Did you beat it without me? Did I break the fucking game? I don't even know what we're aiming at! I said the thing, I'm crying. Alright, before we start... This, oh, or is it going to be in celebration of the Krogan victory? <laughs> I only expected the apron. I didn't expect the cute little princess dress. <laughs> the fucking oven mitts. 
<laughs> True Oak Rogan battle gear. That strikes fear into the hearts. Oh, the kids are so cute. I really hope they're not stillborn. <laughs> Their eyes have too much brightness and joy in them for them to actually be. Now, this is after the Genophage is cured. And Rex becomes the ultimate stud in the entire galaxy. I want him. I want him on screen during the fucking fright. In fact, I just found where people made Baby Krogan and copied the fuck out of him. Because look at them. They're adorable. Rex looked like that back in the day. I mean, you know Baby Krogan are taught to rip the legs off dogs. We were kind of told that very, very recently. And we know what they're up to. We know how they feed themselves. We know what Rex is cooking up back there. It's the legs that they ripped off. But he's gonna be here. He's gonna be here. He's gonna be part of the Krant. All the babies are in our Krant too. Fuck out of here. I don't like my new helmet. It doesn't make me look nearly pretty enough. I'm not gonna impress Mama Rex. I love how this all came from like, if Grunt's the kid, <laughs> then who's the dad or the mom? In Shepard and Rex's beautiful relationship. I'm s I mean, it is obviously Rex. There's no other fucking decision. P I mean, Shepard could not rock an apron like that, right? You can barely rock anything other than a leather jacket. He's like me. And I don't give off much mom energy. Thank you so much, Grunt. Holy shit. I was so ready to die there. <laughs> They're beautiful, right, Aaron? <laughs> This is my favorite thing. Like, you have made some amazing fucking things for me. But this has to be- this is in, like, the top tier. Fucking god! I can't- I can't look away! I keep looking at it on, like, my tiny phone screen. I wasn't done with it, but I know I needed to kill! Man, when did my melee get so good? You wouldn't think this would even be- what the fuck? You wouldn't think this would even be possible on the highest difficulty. You'd think punching anything, like, all throughout the game would be instant suicide. In fact, it probably should be. But there's just so many melee, uh, upgrades. It's almost impossible not to become a god. Why do I even use biotics anymore? Refined platinum. Who the fuck dumped this here? What a stupid shot. You know what? I might as well just punch Varen and save all of my ammo for the big boys. Because Varen aren't exactly going to give us any fucking issues. And I think they are the entirety of the first wave. If I tell anyone to stay still, like, Varen will just... Well, they'll do the leg ripping instead. I just wish I could have brought in the Varen we befriended. He's my favorite. My favorite crewmate in the entire fucking trilogy. Get out of my way! I don't like... The one issue with, like, bonking everyone to death is they kind of steal your legs. I don't like that. I prefer to be, you know, the master of my own legs whenever possible. These beasts will know what? What did he say? So where is the armor on Varus? It's not like they really have anything. They are completely naked at all times. The fucking sluts. There you go. Oh, he's playing the world's, well, most medium-sized violin, I guess. For all of his dead friends. You know you're just as dead as them, right? I'm looking for the sun. Yeah, there it is! God, it's fucking beautiful. It's a chunk is, uh, well, it's F star, right? Which seems to be like black hole suns. In the Mass Effect universe. I don't know quite how true that is, IRL. But all I know is Chris Cornell would be very happy with me. The fuck was that? Did that doctor finally fucking invent the ground pound or whatever the hell he said? Did he channel the power of the mightiest warrior of all time, Super Mario? Whoa! No, never mind! That's not Super Mario! I wouldn't want him to slam his ass into the ground. The world would never recover. Tachanka's already fucked, man. But that is an ass worthy of, like, nuclear... Oh, fishing! Shooting him doesn't even seem to do anything. Shooting him doesn't do anything. Oh, he's laying eggs everywhere. I see. So that's what the clicks and evolve into. Man, I hate that sound. I really hate that sound. If I'm the one to just take off all their clothes, then hopefully Grunt can do the real damage. Man, these things were not this tough before. What the hell is going on? 
I mean, I guess I could pull out the nuke. We do have some power cells over there, but I imagine we need multiple boxes of power cells just to charge it up again. I don't know what tap, what one tap of it's going to do, but I imagine it doesn't do a whole lot of damage. I want to see the nuke at full power. This sucks. I don't like these people at all. How long does it take me to rip through them with a fucking sniper? At least two clips, and that is not okay! I know this is a right, but we fought Clixen so many times before! We fought Clixen going through with Morden like five seconds ago. That was easy. Oh my god, stop laying eggs! How are you pregnant again? Are you really just going off to have a quick fuck every single time? I pity you. That can't be satisfying if it's only lasting like three seconds. A useless withered fuck sock of a husband is definitely the reason that you're about to end the world. Learn to be a generous lover, you filthy bastard. At least let her, like, bite your head off afterwards. She is an insect, right? No male insect gets to live. Doesn't, like, even a queen bee kill whoever impregnates her? Isn't that a thing? I don't know. Aren't bees, like, weirdly fucking violent? I know that they have this thing where, like, if so, like, a, I don't know if it's a certain type of bee or if all bees do it, but if something gets in the hive that they don't want there, they will just, like, smother the fucker. Like, get thousands over them at once, and they'll just turn themselves into, like, little cute furry vibrators. And they'll vibrate to such a fucking degree that the thing inside the, like, the massive bug melts. Like, it literally just dies of overheat. And that's insane. I wish humans could do that. You ain't gotta worry about the Krogan rebe Rebellions, we just turn ourselves into vibrators. You gotta take the sex toy path to justice sometimes. What about the pistol? I do any more down- it's just slow. Like, it's, it's not horrible. Especially when you hit them in what is probably their head. I can't really tell. Oh, come the fuck on. Even punching them isn't enough. Oh, how long has Garrus been dead for? There's so much meds around here, I, I don't really care. It's fine, we can heal him whenever the hell we want. And that's a decent enough amount of ammo back in my sniper, I guess. I'm just really scared of running out before we face anything particularly scary. Like, Clixen caused me to run around the entire map over and over and over and over and over. It's not the most exciting thing in the fucking world, but it's fine. It's not like I'm gonna die. Garrus might become a man puddle every now and then. But that's fine. He's entitled to be into whatever the hell he's into. Even if that includes his own death. As long as he gives me, like, full fucking, uh... The full right to drug him whenever the hell I choose. He is my favorite Rufy buddy that I've ever had. <laughs> I don't think Rufy's are gonna help here. It's only gonna make him even more dead. Even sleepier. And death is like the sleepiest you could possibly be. I don't know about bees, they aren't too cute up close. Are they not? I've never really looked- I guess they do just look like insects. I guess they're ugly motherfuckers, but they're doing their best. It's not their fault. Every insect's fucking ugly. I can't think of a pretty one. Even butterflies look kind of fucking disgusting. I like how the keystone is just a fucking button. Hell yeah! Which is why you send all your children to die as fast as possible. Oh, it's the big slam that does it. You're bringing these things out from the ground. And the deeper you thrust, the angrier the boy. Ah, oh, he wiggly! I don't like it. I don't like it. I forgot that they'll fight like they do in Mass Effect 1. They get a lot less scary down there. Actually, they get more scary. But they get more, like, I understand them a little better in Mass Effect 3, if I remember correctly. What the hell? He's shit. 
Like, he's going to die. My only goal is to survive, but I think we can beat this fucking thing. That's a big old fucking chunk of damage. And I ain't losing. Not now. You're gonna. You're taking a nuke. Fuck it. You know what? I'm gonna hurt this man as hard as I possibly can. I think if anything's worthy of a nuke, it's the thing that even the Mako struggled with. Even the Mako in Legendary Edition, which is the most like powerful form of anything in all of Mass Effect. Like if you just dink into a Reaper with the Mako, their entire family line is instantly ended right there. And they don't even have families, they just build each other. They have like science dads. Nuke, come on! Don't you dare disappear. Not before I'm ready. Did it work? Oh shit! Yeah, that worked! Didn't work as much as I expected. I kind of expected him to go down instantly. That's just what Shepard's used to. He walks into a room, everyone's ready to go down. And who could blame him? He's a, he's a zombie. It's space age, everyone wants to experience everything at least once. It's the, just the equivalent of banging an alien, really. They're probably just as dead as, um... I mean, Turian's already just made of bones. Shepard's just a fleshy skeleton. In fact, I guess most people are. That's kind of just people, isn't it? Let me go ahead and find a, uh, I need more power cells. I'm gonna nuke this man into oblivion. I think we could do it with just the fucking pistol. But it's boring as hell. <laughs> I'm gonna do some real damage. I wanna see what the fucking, uh... No, that's useless. It's the only time the Locust has ever done absolutely nothing. <laughs> does this thing have an ice? Where does the ice stop and everything else begins? I don't even really want to think about that. Imagine this thing getting constipated. Maybe that's why it's so angry. Maybe it likes it. Maybe that's why it wants to feed more. Nature's butt plug, probably. Alright, what do we got over here? Yes, 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 yes. More cells. Very needed. How much have I got? I've got enough for a full charge. No, but I don't need to. It's almost dead. It'd be a pretty intense way to bring it down, but I don't even really need to be over there. Come on. Everyone use your tam powers. Let's take him out as a family. Let's gather around the fireside. Is that what families do? I think that's what funerals do. Never mind. We fucking did it. And I probably did that faster than I ever did in the OG trilogy. I don't know if they made it easier to kill. Because I know they make quite a few things easier in the Legendary for some fucking reason. But I mean, Insanity Mode feels pretty insane. It feels worthy of the title. Good. I want more. Yeah, right on your eyes. Oh, my boy is growing up. Absolutely. So can we teach him some more interesting words than us? No one has done that in generations. I like to think I have quite the anal vocabulary. My cramp gave me strength beyond my genes. Which are damn good. This will cause discussion. I wonder. You say you are pure. No alien meddling in your construction. Just the warlord of Kier. He's the ultimate Krogan, Gatatog. Your name's not Gatatog. Your name's Uvenk. That's the a clan. I'm an idiot. Are distilled I don't understand this shit. He's designed I'm not pure perfect. Krogan. Being designed is the problem. But not me by aliens. And he is truly powerful. That is a tolerable loophole. What? Family activities? Exactly! Some lovely father-son bondage. Bonding. Bond bond it. It, it, it's fine, it's grunt, he can take it. You spit on my father's name. He's mostly a stepson, it's legal. But now you stop ranting because I'm strong. With restrictions. You could not breed or serve on an alien ship. But you'd be clan in name. You only want him as a fucking trophy. You talk like he's a thing. You're after his power. You don't really want him in your clan. Of course not. I didn't really want to cooperate with Clan Erdnot either, but I had to. Clan Gavitar is on the verge, either of greatness or of joining the dust. I get traditional support if I fight you, and reformer support if I back you. Your rite of passage tipped that balance too. My guess, Grunt says, no, I'm not deciding for him. He's my fucking kid. He can do whatever the hell he, he wants. Shepard doesn't own him, and I mean, the other parent isn't even here. Mommy Rex hasn't even baked him his daily cookies, and he's in a bad mood. He will bite off your face. Twice. 
then vomit it out and eat it again. We'll make you eat it with what's left of your stupid head. Ugh. I imagine this is a really interesting decision if Rex dies in the first game. Because I don't, I don't know who leads. I've never let Rex die. I've never, I, I couldn't bring myself to him. I love him so much, my beautiful crusty uncle. Um, so yeah, I don't, I, I don't know. I, I guess maybe if whoever's in charge is not got the same like uh, thought process as was Rex, maybe if he's not quite as progressive and bringing the Krogan up into higher galactic society as long as the genophage is cured, like Rex is keeping Tachanka together. Traditionalist Uven gets in control, or takes Grunt, which could probably then overpower fucking Rex once I'm gone. That ends the fucking world. That ends all the Krogan. You're called Grunt, but you better say no. It's your choice, Grunt. Grunt like stole it. <laughs> I hate it. What a horrible word. The pure Krogan. Uvink, you were the pretender. Definitely Morgan sounds like a Harry Potter professor, though. Alive or dead. Just try to take it. I just killed a thresher. What are you doing? They've seen us. Have you seen how wide that thing's fucking mouth is? You're a diplomat more than a fucking fighter. You rep you're a politician. Then again, Rex is like a king. He's technically a politician. And uh, he's a living fucking god. I don't think Garrus is just here. He doesn't know what to do at all. Why are you taking, stop standing up. He's right there. You, you don't need to stand up to end this man. Right, now he's doing what he fucking should be. And, okay. Never mind. Never mind. I'd rather take on like 12 freshers at once. And then a good three Kro Oh, that's a lot more than three Krogan. That explains a fucking lot. Chef's helmet looks insane. Do you hate it or do you like it? I can't tell. I don't think I'm a big fan. I kind of want to go back to being able to see his full face. That just means we lose all the cool stat bonuses, but it, it might be worth it.